The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has said five people are laying claim to the N49 million its operatives intercepted in Saks at the airport in Kaduna. It said the federal high court in Kaduna would soon give judgment on the puzzle over the cash. The anti-graft agency said the cash had been deposited in the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, pending a pronouncement by the court. It made the clarifications in its monthly magazine, EFCC Alert. The EFCC said, five individuals have so far come forth to lay claim to the N49 million intercepted at the Kaduna International Airport on March 13, 2017. They are, Oi Banji Plates Steve, Tayamoni Yali Wilk, Riza Katiamatiti Leo, Fawzat Una and Joshua Kisabo. It will be recalled that following a tip-off, EFCC operatives intercepted the money during a routine baggage screening, which was contained in five 150 kilograms colored but Masak's crispy Naira notes of N200 denomination in 20 bundles totaling N40 million and N50 denomination in 180 bundles totaling N9 million. In solving the N49 million puzzle, the EFCC brought the case before Justice S.M. Shuebu of the Federal High Court, Kaduna. After presenting its sole witness, the EFCC through its counsel, Joshua Sadie, closed its case on May 17. A certified true copy of the teller used to deposit the money to the Central Bank of Nigeria, was also admitted as exhibit. Judgment in respect of the case is expected soon. According to investigation, the cash was discovered by EFCC's own office in Kaduna in five large black 150 kg color boot sacks during routine baggage screening at the airport. A top source in the commission said, upon careful scrutiny of the sacks, it was discovered that they contained fresh crispy Naira notes of N200 denomination in 200 bundles, totaling N40 million and N50 denomination in 180 bundles totaling N9 million. The bundles were sealed purportedly emanating from the Nigerian Security and Minting Company, MSPMC, as seen in the label on the packs. The five sacks were cited unattended to and without tags containing fresh bulk items suspected to be money from the aroma perceived from the sacks. The owner of the money later showed up, but could not state the exact money in the sacks or present any document authenticating the genesis of the money.